All right, welcome back. Fresh snow, wind and late fall temperature fluctuations are a recipe for avalanches. In this week's weatherwise, backcountry activity always picks up right when the snow wants to slide down. To say it's been a little windy in the mountains would be an understatement. Fresh snow, a wind-loaded slope in this skier contributed to a wind slab avalanche in the Copper Creek area north of Lincoln over the weekend. This group, including myself, were monitoring the snow conditions heading up on the hike and have been watching the snow stability for weeks. What I found in this area north of Lincoln is a persistent weak layer of snow underneath fresh snow at the surface. It's at this layer that several smaller avalanches have naturally occurred, and it's this layer that will continue to be a concern into early winter. During the fall, as temperatures trend colder, freeze-thaw cycles create hard layers deep in the snowpack that can persist as new snow accumulates, resulting in continued avalanche activity. This is why it's important to dig avalanche pits on the way up, to know what's below the surface. Often, it's the perfect looking slope to ski or ride that gives way in the backcountry, as most avalanches occur between 30 and 45 degree angles. So, before that temptation gets the best of you, be prepared by knowing past weather to anticipate increased avalanche conditions, know what potential weak layers are underneath you in the snowpack, and have the proper equipment, a beacon, shovel, probe, and a partner, at least, to be safe out in the elements. And now, you're a little more weather-wise.